Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EMS One Winter Championship 2014. Ben is now with me, uh, fresh from the commentary booth. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Yeah, so good. interesting few matches to kick today off, I suppose. Definitely, definitely interesting. That's definitely one way I would, I would explain it. I mean, we saw two best of threes go all the way to the third map, and then a best of three which finally ended 2-0. Yeah, very, very decisive. Uh, let's yes. take a look at the bracket and just fill you in if you are just joining us for our Battlefield 4 extravaganza this weekend. Uh, team Umav winning their opening match and then going through the bracket to qualify. They are the first team, the Swedes, into the semi-final. Uh, Pyrogen obviously taking down Dignitas, who dumped them down to the lower bracket. Pyrogen will have to wait until tomorrow now to find out who they will play in that lower bracket because we've now got PKD and Team Dignitas waiting in the wings. Let's just discuss these two teams now. They've had a, an interesting <laughs> road, haven't they, to say the least? Yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, looking at this map, or sorry, this matchup, I should say, I'm definitely going to be favouring Team Dignitas. Um, you could ask why. I just, I don't know. I just think they have that extra little boost, really, to, to push them through. But just a little bit of extra quality, maybe. I don't necessarily want to say quality. I just think it, when it comes down to team coordination and the way that they push the objectives, I'm looking at them realistically to come out strong. Okay. Um, in terms of PKD, I think there is little to no chance that we're going to be playing on Locker. I think Dignitas would have sat there, <laughs> watched them play on Locker, see yeah. them destroying teams, and then going, we're not playing Locker. There's no way we're playing it. If that doesn't get vetoed, we may as well just walk out, because I don't know but, what the life is. Yeah, I, I absolutely. Um, in terms of the map pool and what's left, what do you, what do you see Dignitas as being strong at? That's, that's a tough question, to be honest, because I mean, it, from what we've seen so far, it's kind of been a, a mix and match. I mean, as I said, you know, the way that they use their team communication and, and the pushing objectives, we had a few sort of listen-ins and you can see that the way they are communi communicating is just perfect. So it could be a mix of, of many different maps. I mean, to be honest, I think it's more going to be about what they want to ban from their opponents as opposed to what they really want to push through themselves. So that, that's going to be what they're thinking about when they're banning. Yeah, I think well, we're definitely going to see uh, Locker banned. I'm pretty sure of that. Yes. I think we might see Paracel. <laughs> we haven't seen Storm all day, and I'm we haven't seen kind it, of actually. disappointed. I, I am. It's one of my, my favorite maps to actually play myself, so I'm, I'm a big fan of that map. But it's been banned nearly every single time, so I'm going to go ahead and say it should be banned again. I, okay. Um, nice. You can vote, of course, and make sure you yes. have voted. And if you haven't, go vote now. Uh, make sure you're in the competition. It's battlefield underscore ems1.com. Go there right now. It's just underneath right now so you can uh, know what the URL is. Go there now if you haven't voted on the match that's about to start. Uh, and you will be in with a chance of winning some fantastic goodies courtesy of our friends at Razer, EA and Dice. They're all Battlefield 4 branded as well. And we have some ESL premium tickets away uh, to give away as the runners-up prizes too. Um, if you're a betting man, <laughs> if you're a betting man, if <laughs> where where do you go with this? Because having seen them both play in the upper bracket, mm -hmm. and we know what their strengths and weaknesses are, and we know what maps they're good on, we know what they're going to veto in theory. This looks like a very even game on paper. I think it's definitely going to be a two-one. I'd be I'd be amazed if it was a two-zero whitewash. I, I just can't see that happening. I expect all the games as well to be relatively low ticket sided on the first side. None of the 118 ticket advantage we saw to start the day. Can't see any of that happening. I think it, they should all be relatively low, you know, below 40 kind of ticket leads. But if I was a betting man, I'd be putting my money on Dignitas. I. I just think they have what it takes. Okay, uh, I think that'll please Dog, but when we go over to him in a minute. <laughs> right. Um, we also have the defibs ready for him again, just in case he's uh, <laughs> I melting. Heard he was, he was, he was straight, I could see yeah. his heart thumping through his shirt <laughs> earlier. Uh, he was struggling, bless him. Um, just one final thing. You mentioned that we've seen some really big ticket scores earlier on in the day. It's closed up throughout the day. Is that anything Definitely. to do with surrounding settings, feeling comfortable, or is it just that the teams have been super competitive at the end of the day? I think. It could be a bit of both, to be honest. I mean, every every team's going to have that little bit of nerves going in. And once you settle yourself down, you're going to sort of have the more, bit more competitive games. But I mean, 118 ticket lead to start the day off was a bit kind Actually, of... Actually, you know what? I, I have to have... I've got a confession to make. Okay. Dogbert and I were a little late to the first game. Oh, we sat there watching and we were like, yeah, okay. Wow, 118. And Dogbert said, is it 150 tickets? And I went, no, it can't be. <laughs> it has to be 250, right? And then the next game starts, and of course, it is 150. And we're like... Oh, wow. wow. Uh, <laughs> oops, well, yeah, okay, well, that was a bit of a kicking then. Um, 
let's move on. Um, you've predicted that. In terms of, I haven't had a chance to talk to you yet about the whole competition. Who's the favourite for you? Is it Fnatic that stands out, or is there someone in there that you think maybe can beat them? You know, you, you look at Fnatic and you, and you see a roster who's just so strong. They really are a very, very good battlefield roster. And one of the main people or teams I think can really compete with them is Epsilon. And then you have that matchup first in the in the group, and you kind of start you're thinking, that just shows how competitive that group really is. And if I was going to say, I would say the winner of that match will win the whole thing. Okay. Thank you very much. Bold, bold. We like bold statements Good. on the EMS one, that's for sure. <laughs> and uh, he's just teased something that's coming up, and it is Epsilon versus Fnatic after our last game in Group A. And if you're thinking, well, hold on a minute, what about the last game in Group A? We'll be playing that tomorrow at the start of the day. Tomorrow is literally about win or go home. Right now, one of these teams is going home and one of them staying in the competition. Which one is it going to be? We're about to find out with your commentators, Mr. Kaplan and Mr. Dogbert. Mr. Kaplan has a nice ring to it. Usually calls me Mrs. Kaplan in the office. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm worried about my heart rate. Apparently, defib's too far away. It needs to be closer. That is around. true, but I know CPR, so we're good. Oh, good. And no, no. Oh, no, we're no. doing mouth. Not. Anyway, so yeah, we have another <laughs> game coming up here. We got your team. We got the losers of the first game for them. Yeah, no, Haven't been it. looking too great. <laughs> Doing iffy, talking talk to Wahlberg earlier. No, we have Dindy Din Toss, obviously, going up against Planet Key Dynamics, and we heard their thoughts, obviously, unbiasedly. What's your thoughts on this one? Oh, it's good. <laughs> I will yell bias if you, it, it's you know, too. I, I like both of these teams. I've, I've watched a lot of Pyro, so um, I've, I've been watching... The, I've probably watched more Pyro than I've watched, like, any other of the teams in this competition. Um, and these bands coming, I'm not even surprised at it with any of them. I mean, Dig Play, Dawnbreaker, even though they lost it recently, it was definitely one they did quite well. Damn, banned. Not surprised though. Lockup banned. No surprise there at all. And Zaphod have won a Dignitas place yes. quite a lot. has been banned as well. Uh, and the ones that are left are interesting because Paraso Storm, now Dig have not done great on, but they've they managed to upset teams which have been ahead by massive scores. Uh, Par uh, Yumav, one of them, and uh, CG Shanghai and Goldman, I believe, are the other two. Uh, Goldman, Dig keep picking it, and sometimes it goes really, really well, and sometimes it goes really, really bad. Um, but they, I think all three of those maps, um, I think both of these teams look really good on both of them. Um, but uh, I think Dig might have an edge here, just about on, uh, especially with um, with Paracel Storm. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking at their uh, their recent history on Parasol Storm, and they beat them back in Cup number two, and they're currently have a 75 percent win rate on that as well. And not to mention a single siege of Shanghai right after. Guess who they played against? The one time they did in Cup number one. Yeah, Planet and, Key Dynamics, and, and they, they beat them. They did they win? Yep, oh. they beat them. Well, I got I I I'm trying <laughs> to like run off like just like back memory, and I just got shut down by statistics. Hey, but that's that's good for you though, because you want to see Danitas win. And right now, I've seen two maps that Danitas have already beaten Planet Key Dynamics on. Hmm. That's that's a little bit worrying for me. And this is uh, a good chance to dig to to show that they can play these other maps because uh, these are ones that they don't really get to play too much. I mean, um, locker. I mean, especially in Go Four, you, you have no choice what map comes up. You just play, and that's not always a great indication on how they do. Um, but they manage to do quite well against some of the bigger teams. But Planet Key are the team which interests me a bit more in this matchup because they. They keep coming and surprising teams, which really they 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 may really statistics wise shouldn't beat, but they do. They they cause real issues to teams. They they took one game off UMAV today um, on Locker as well, a map which UMAV are generally very 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 strong on, and that was very surprising. That's an eye opener to any team. But don't think that Planet Key can hang in there and get the infantry kills, huh? And uh, over on Dig side. They're, they're not like all killers. They're more of a team which just work together to get the flag caps. Uh, Judetsky, uh, he, he's a big tank killer. Warburg, obviously. Um, I, more of a psych man, if anything. I actually, uh, they're, they're a little bit scary as well, Dana Toss, because uh, Warburg was upstairs and I was, we were, we were talking uh, a little bit and I, I mentioned that they lost in their first game and he, he, he immediately came back with, do you want your nose to be smaller? <laughs> so, a <laughs> little bit scary, a little bit, but... Either way, yeah, they're definitely a strong team, and we will find out if they can continue to make that happen here. And looking over the stats, you know, across the board, and Danny Toss, you know, three for four on uh, Parasol Storm, one for one on Siege of Shanghai, one for two on Gomod Railway. On the other side of that coin, though, we have uh, Planet Key Dynamics actually one for two, losing to Danny Toss on Parasol Storm, three for four on Siege of Shanghai, and one for one on Gomod Railway. But, and obviously, those stats don't really matter. 
it just comes down to how can they play today? Offline environment. Obviously, we've seen uh, you know earlier on today with Planet Key looking a little bit shaky in the first game of the day. Uh, obviously, against um, UMAP where they just got shut down, and that wow. is that is surprising. That no, is actually I'm surprising. Very surprised by that. Because the first one was eighty nine or no, no it was eighty one percent in favor of UMAP when they're playing against Planet Key, and now they're seventeen percent. So they're they're going down percents for some reason. Yeah, I I, I think if anything, this is um, a, a name a name business here. Everyone knows it's true the the it's tag true. Dignitas. I think Planet Key um, maybe not as well known uh, outside of the competitive scene. Um, well, Dignitas obviously. Um, a, a, you can't it's look at a game without it's seeing a, yeah, yeah. that minute, you know? So I, I think that might play a little bit part of it. But I mean, for me, this is a close one. I mean, I, I said that this group's were always going to be decided on the Dig and Pyro game. And a one which Dig were very, very close to winning mm -hmm. in, in a lot of cases. And, and when Red Eye's talking about how close I was to a heart attack, I'll tell you why. It was because of uh, <laughs> he wasn't that wrong. game. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> when, when they were literally down to a handful of tickets, that's why. All right, well, we're going to be getting underway here with our first map in this best of three. And remember, loser... And you will be out. We're going to be having over on the U.S. side, Dinitas, with Jaquili, Judetsky, Masu, Jerk, and Walu. And over on the side of Chinese, it's going to be Plant Key Dynamics with Inozi, Audi, Tom, Felix, and Scene. And you're going to give us our, or your opinion on who's going to win this one. And we'll, <laughs> we'll see if that's going to happen here. And I believe we're actually not live since the teams are not moving. No, it'd so be, we can we can be, talk for a little bit. Yeah, it would be the most cautious start from both teams ever if they're uh, just slowly inching out of their spawn zone. Um, it's a strategy. My <laughs> names. I, I'm, I'm hoping for a two-zero from Dig, but um, <laughs> I, I got a feeling it could go a, a two-one. But these maps are very favourable, I think, to Dignitas. Um, so I think they've got an edge here. But Planet have been playing quite solid throughout this entire tournament, and I would not be surprised if they were to win this one. Yeah. Um, they have been... They've shown promise. Yeah, they, but they've been getting better and better and better. And they just... The momentum started to get with them. Now, they had some uh, bits come apart, but it was against UMAP. I mean, lots of teams struggle against UMAP. Yeah, it's like, what team doesn't struggle against UMAP? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. But, you know, the whole thing that I liked, was we saw earlier out of Planet Key, was the fact that they did adapt. I mean, obviously, we saw them in the first game, and they got completely destroyed by UMAP, 115 tickets. But then they came back on Operation Locker with 84 and they showed that when they're playing their own game, they do extremely well. And I think it comes down to that. Can Dinitas control the game? Can they be the ones to force the pressure to change the pace? Or can Planet Key get that hold? Because if they do, they've already proven that they can be one of the best teams. Yeah, I've seen Dignitas a lot time, a lot on this map, and I get worried, especially about the building control, because this is going to come down to a very serious point on this map: the free buildings at B. You've got the the lone building, which is usually either the lone building, and then you've got the other two, the one closer to C and the one closer to A. Um, and, and, and these buildings are going to play a focal point of this matchup. Um, a lot of teams like to hold them as long as possible. It really gives you a vantage point of the entire map, and more importantly, gives you that B flag, uh, an almost unassailable position. Um, so the breakout from both of the teams, pretty standard. Rockets coming in already from Planet Key to try and give them a bit of edge on their building control, maybe denying the ones that they don't like. And uh, this is a good start from both teams. Uh, Dig going to pick up the A. Um, but it looks like they won't get the B. Yeah, they do not like those buildings indeed. And that's what we're actually talking about on Go Mode Railway, which I guess we can talk about a little bit later on if we do get to that third map. But right now, like you're saying, we're going to have Plant Key Dynamics get that early hold on a C and B. They will actually be on the US side this time. And Intos will be on the Chinese. And right now, you know, just to kind of put you on the spot, who's the real men to look for on both these sides? Because obviously certain people play better on other maps. And I want to know, like, who's, who's your you know, two favorite here on each team? Enozi and uh, Judetsky for Dignitas, okay. um, and Enozi for Planet Key. Um, just heavy fraggers. And right now, Dignitas, are, uh, interesting strategy. They're threatening both flags. They're going to take that C flag. There's no way anyone's going to stop it. They're still holding A. They've still got some building control as well. This is, even though they're behind on tickets already, this is a great start from Dignitas. Yeah, like I was talking to Benson, you know, like the first 30 seconds to two minutes is always back and forth. You don't really see the pace slow down. You don't really see a team gain full control, but. Looks like Dignitas are definitely trying to make that happen right off the bat here. We are going to see a transition over to Planet Key Dynamics, it looks like, here in just a second. And we do have two people on Dignitas already in position to make this happen. However, we just saw one more uh, person actually spawn in. And you can see that man on top, he doesn't know where they are. He, he, I bet he has a hunch for him as he does spot one of them, but Jadeski gets taken down. We see one more man, though. Can he pick up the skill? He does take down one here, but there's another man. And I believe they both know it here as they're both running ring around the Rosie. 
We're not really spot each other down just yet here, but we are going to see another spawn come for Dignitas, and they will secure themselves that A site, and that will be a tricap. That is brilliant play from Dignitas. More importantly, Jerk over at C, um, managing to play very, very smart, very quiet. Let the, uh, um, I'm not sure it was from Planet Key, but he came in, destroyed the wall, didn't know there was a defender, and just got took out. And more importantly, Jerk just came in and cleared out the buildings. This is a brilliant start from Dignitas, and right now, they just need to keep this guy going. The bleed is in their favor. They've took control of the game. They're only 10 tickets ahead, but that bleed is significant, and they've still got building control. Great start from Dig. Yeah, they do, and we've seen time and time again on Parasol Storm how important it is to really control those buildings. There's only one team that I can think of who actually just doesn't give an F about them, who just doesn't care, and that's Pyrogen. Uh, when I saw them play, I can't remember the team that top of my head. I think it was Epsilon that they beat. They just literally did not care, and they just ran around as a group taking flags. But right now, that's obviously not the team we're watching here, and we're going to see Danitas still maintain that A and C hold here. But C, going to be capped over in just a second. But however, Danitas have that ability to put this pressure on a B, and it looks like they're going to commit for it. Yeah, that rotation's already on that B flag, but there are defenders from Planet Key. It's just Tom left by himself, but look at Dig surrounding him right now. They're trying to finish him off, and that is going to be the B and A flag. That bleed, even though um, Dynamics get a flag from Dig, they always take so long that Dig are able to compensate for it. And... Once again, bleed staying for them, and now you can see that uh, Dynamics are trying to push more than one location. But the building control, something I've criticized Dignitas over and over again for, they're keeping the buildings. And they are, not only are they keeping the buildings, they're picking up kills when Planet Key tries to contest it every time. They just don't lose these one-on-one -on -one battles, and right now it's been reflected in the score, certainly with a 30 ticket advantage right now. We're seeing Masu though, a one-man hit squad, currently 7-2, now 8-2 and two after that kill. Looking to control and contest C right now. There's one more man in the site. Actually, you get some good damage onto him. Hasn't taken any for himself just yet. Nay gonna come out. It looks like he will pick up the kill. So just like that, one man squad out of Masu can take down two people in a 1v2. That is not what you want to see. Planet Key Dynamics has to be able to win 2v1s. And most of the time, win 1v1s. Yeah, but right now, Dignitas Dudetsky, right at B-Flag, threatening a full domination cap. He's gonna get it. And th this is looking really bad for Dynamics because they're not able to project their power anywhere. And wherever they do, they're slowly just getting pushed back. They're gonna get that C-Flag. But right now, without A or B, they are constantly with the bleed against them. And you can see just how quick those tickets are dropping right now. Yeah, and Dignitas definitely showing that this is one of their stronger maps, being Planet Key Dynamics, UMAP, and Yoki on it. And that's definitely a lot of Really good three teams here as Masu yet again picking up some more kills. Currently six and seven. Jerk now eight and two. And we're, sp we're following Jaquili here. See where he wants to go and immediately just go straight in those buildings. When someone leaves the building on his team, they immediately have someone else rotating back in. And it looks like he'll be able to pick up at least one kill on the top. Looking for that second. Won't pick that one up, but they have made their mark here. And they're actually capping C yet again. They're consistently getting these tri caps, and Planet Key Dynamics have no idea how to stop it. Yeah, and, and right now you can see they're switching up their pressure and trying to go for that A flag, but they've only got Tom left. He gets taken out again, and, and this is just the story of the buildings. Dignitas is constantly controlling B with the building control, with the B flag and the spawns, and they're just making much more of an effort to keep it in their half. And right now you can just see Dynamics are just not keeping up with it. they got to push hard here at B, and they need to break quick. One thing that they are doing, and I actually was about to point that out too, is the fact that they started off the whole let's knock down buildings thing, but they didn't finish it. They, they only knocked down like a couple of walls. They didn't bother taking the buildings down. Maybe that's a possibility for them. Maybe destroy the buildings. I'll give you control, but it seems like it's just too late here with only 47 tickets remaining. Now 45. Danitas just have full control of this game, and they're looking like a completely different team than what we saw earlier on. Jerk just went absolutely massive, took it out three people, holding that B flag for a long time, giving massive time to turn up and, and, and finish the defense. This is just really, really good teamwork from Dignitas. They're doing everything you need to do to go through to the next round. And they're constantly keeping um, PK Dynamics on their feet. And they, they, PK are picking up flags that aren't defended, but whenever they are, they're really struggling to break through. This is a very different Dignitas to when the one we watched against Pyro. Yeah, and they seem to have definitely have their aim on right now. And you said it perfectly. Every time they, or every time you know, Pyro, uh, not Pyro, just sorry, Planet Dynamics do push into a flag. If it's not completely open, then they have such a, str a struggle of blocking that one down. And right now, we do see one man. I'm dang not sure who it is on my screen just yet. He's in a 1v2 situation, looking for control of C right now. He finally does have some backup coming in from the side. Can they actually cap this one over? Currently, we see a 2 to 1 hold in favor of Planet Dynamics. But here we go, punching in from the side, picks up one kill. And just like that, missed out. Well, back to a 1v3 here. And you just see, I mean, if, if one man on Dignitas can distract three people and keep them at C, that means the rest of the team's going to be capping over on A. They got to be capping somewhere else. Yeah, that, that's a, a, a 
two three man push on that A flag, and, and Wahlberg by himself literally just pinned down three men at that C flag. But Dignitas hasn't made much of it. They should have been able to wipe out A a lot quicker. It's took them a long, lot longer than it should have, and that's opened up for B flag now. So even though Dignitas are well ahead, they are a constant team, but gets very, very well ahead, and then starts to like mess up at the end. And this mm -hmm. is where they need to make sure they don't do that. They need to make sure that they keep this lead going. There's a big kill over at C, and that's going to be a capture of the C flag. The only thing it can save Dynamics at this point is a very good spawn on either the A or C flags, and right now Dignitas are pinning them down at B, where they need to get out. And you can see another 1v2 breaking out, and yet again, he wins the 1v2. I don't know who that man was. He may even pick up a third here onto B, but I, I like what you said, though. The fact that Dignitas, they can get a big lead on you, but they let their foot off the gas for some reason. They kind of mess up towards the end, but this time, it doesn't seem like they're letting that happen at all. I mean, 89 to 10 tickets, that is a fantastic scoreline, especially on this kind of map here. And it looks like they're not done just yet. Looking to cap over C. Meantime, A is being contested. We'll be going, I believe, Planet Key Dynamics' favor. It's still Dintos. Such a strong start in this best of three. And they're, they're kind of showing everyone out there that, you know, we're here to stay. And we are going to get into this next round. Obviously, they have at least one more team to play against uh, if they do win this one. Go up against Pyrogen next. All right, now they are... Building up momentum, and this has to feel good considering how they lost earlier on today. Yeah, but they're still struggling to close out this matchup. They have got the A flag, but they're going to lose C. They need to be putting some pressure onto that B flag soon or win the C fight. And right now, it's spawns are coming in from both sides, and it's all about the C flag now. If Dignitas can get hold of this flag, they'll be able to keep this bleed going. But at the same time, they're just not able to finish off the defenders from Planet Key. And at the same time, this is dragging out fights over in other places. And this is back and forth right now. It definitely is, and four tickets remain, at least, even if they're not able to get those flags, every kill they do pick up is just that much closer to solidifying their first half uh, victory. But right now, the it's building's finally being knocked down, and that's what we're kind of, at least I was personally thinking of, you know, as a potential to do, and I wonder if that has any impact on how this game's gone so far, because they've called their way back quite a few tickets, but obviously it's not what you need, you need more than that, and... Unfortunately for them, they're not going to get it. Yeah, and uh, those kills, you can already see Dynamics are holding spawns because they know anyone who comes into the game now would basically lose them the game. So they're trying to hold on as much as can and just getting kills. Dignitas need to just hold their spawns as well. They have full domination cap, and that's how you end a game on uh, domination. Very good start, but they could have won by a lot more tickets there. Uh, Dynamics put up a great fight near the end there and chomped away what could have been almost 100 tickets. And look at their faces. Wow, it was definitely a lot happier now <laughs> after I saw them earlier on. Um, upstairs in the players' lounge, and that was just just standard battlefield. I, I have to say that they just executed everything perfectly. They had the control from the beginning. There wasn't even that, you know, 30 seconds to a two-minute, you know, uh, roundabout with teams picking up flags constantly. It was just domination. Yeah, but Judeski and Jerk picking up 18 kills for 18 deaths. Uh, sorry, 18 kills and eight deaths. 18 deaths it would be so great. Uh, I was like, but what? they just yeah, Jerk in that game did absolutely brilliantly. He held down flags uh, against overwhelming odds at times. Mm -hmm. 2v1s, 3v1s, but more importantly, the 1v1s. The 1v1s he managed to hold off guaranteed Dignitas not only a bleed, but a triple cap. Many of them. Many, many, many triple caps. Many, not just three one. Three triple caps. And the thing is triple, when, <laughs> triple caps. And when, and when they got them, it's not like they lost them right away, too. It's like they actually held them for a good 20, 30 seconds, if not more, and you saw Planky Dynamics struggling, but now coming into the second half here, do you think the side really matters? I, I personally don't, because eventually, even, even excluding the sides, you would start to get some ground in the game as you progress through, just based on time. Yeah, uh, most definitely. And it, like at the beginning of domination in general, certain certain maps, it's pretty much a free-for-all. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, it's all about building controller, and that's something that Dignitas got very early on. They didn't get the bleed initially. They were behind by 15, 20 tickets, but as soon as they got the buildings at B, all of the buildings, not just one, all of them, from then on out, they were able to capture A at B at leisure and threaten C, and that's where the full caps came in, because with that building control, they can pin down and spot anyone coming into those flags. Very true, and with the way they've been aiming, you're not gonna, if you do get spotted, you're not gonna be alive for much longer, but we're getting underway here at the second half of this first match in this best of three. We have Plant King Dynamics over on the Chinese side, and we're gonna have Dintas over on the US, and it looks like we see Dintas just kind of fanning out, sending one man towards C, sending two towards A, and it looks like they want to contest these uh, buildings yet again. They want to keep that control that they've been able to do in that first half. 
Yeah, and you, you can see the building destruction once again coming in, but Dignitas have picked up all the kills so far. That's be, ev, pretty what? much... What? They have the two flags and they're about to take B2. Yeah, th this is... Planet Key have played a very slow game over at the A flag, sneaking through the trenches there. Dignitas weren't aware of it, but that's just played straight into Dignitas' hands as they get the B and the C, and more importantly, the buildings, and uh, they've just been shut down on that push on B. Um, a, a questionable start, and they just get wiped at A. This is just so good for Dignitas. Everyone from um, from the Dynamics lineup is down, and now they just get set the second place flag, which is C. And you're seeing Anozi go in for a cap on a C, but he can't break through that fence. Eventually gets through it, and they will be able to cap this one for them. I'm <coughs> sorry for themselves in just a second, but look at that damage with tickets. Remember, 72 tickets is that threshold. If Planet Key Dynamics drop below that, that will be the first map going in here for Dane Tossin. Continuing to knock down these buildings, you see Anozi shoot one more wall out, and it looks like they just want to get straight rid of the buildings this time. Yeah, not even deal with it. Not let Dignitas play that game that they want to. Yeah, and, and, and even even though that's a very important thing, I don't think it's as, as big as issue as it, it might have seemed. Um, the the fight over at the 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 single house was quite an interesting one because they'd blown up a tree. The tree had fallen onto the staircase, so Dignitas were just spraying down the stairs because they didn't have a clue if anyone was coming up it or not. Um, but for Dynamics now, this is what they need. They've got th the control of a single house. They're pressuring the B flag, but they're starting to get picked. Their pick off around here of E knows here. The C flag opens up the flag for Dignitas. And more importantly, everyone from Dynamics is dead except from Tom, and he's alone in that house. Yes, he is, and he's finally getting some respawns coming in here. But you can look at the kills 15 to 3. 15 kills. Sorry, yeah, 15 still to 3 kills for Planet Dynamics. That is. Not good at all. If Planky Knights can't kill anyone, how are you going to cap anything? And right now, Dane Toss, they have a try cap yet again here. Yeah, but more importantly, at the same time, A is going to go over to Dynamics, and so is C. So even though it looked pretty bad, it was a full domination, the tickets did bleed away. Dynamics responded pretty well, and that's probably the best rotation I've seen out of them this game. They, they took out control of uh, a lot of Dignitas's hidey holes in the buildings, and now they're pressuring that B flag. Um, but Dignitas are, are keeping the pressure on them. They're not letting them away with this one yet. Yeah, they are definitely playing like a completely different team, but Planky Dynamics, they have to do something to get back in this, and I can't even begin to fathom what is going through their heads right now because they are getting walked over almost completely. They're already at 94 tickets. They're almost at that point where they're going to have to look forward to the next map. Yeah, and it, that cutoff point is getting very, very close right now, and Dignitas have just stayed complete control from start to finish. They've had it, and right now it's not looking good for the uh, Dynamics team. I, I, I almost feel like they've kind of given up on this map already. Uh, Dignitas are so dominant. Right, we're tuning in to Dignitas' comms right now just to listen how that game's going, and you can hear it. Seem, they just seem happy. Not a lot of talking because they realize realized the big of the lead that they have, and that's a lot different Dignitas than we heard earlier on today when we were listening uh, in on them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a passionate bunch. Uh, Wahlberg especially, very, very passionate. Uh, if you ever tune into his stream, uh, <laughs> very aggressive, and but, but fun-loving at the same that time. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Your nose is safe. Um, uh. But the nose of Dynamics is not. Is it? Is this a, a very messy game for them? And, and Dignitas just keeping on top of them, building control, constant bleed, and uh, yeah, there's nothing they can do. Well, they already have the tickets they need, and that is going to be Dignitas winning the first map here in this best of three on Paracel Storm. And Planet Dynamics, like you were saying before, they kind of, I think almost when Dignitas had that first try cap, they were like, all right, well, we need to look forward to the next map because we can't afford to let that one go. And it will be Siege of Shanghai. And that's a map that they currently have not a better win record on, but I've played it more times competitively. However, the only one time that Dignitas did play it was when they beat Planet Dynamics. Yeah, it, it's quite surprising. I, they, they dominated Dynamics on this map. It was... Not even close. F triple caps all the time. Constant bleed. At no point did Dignitas look at all day in trouble. They were just complete control. From start to finish, they were in control of that game. I really wonder what was happening with Planet Dynamics on that too, because we just saw them earlier. Like we know them to be a better team than that. We've seen them time and time again. You know, do well within the groups. You know, obviously today. And I, I just I can't even think what went wrong. They just could not. It, it just came down to this. I think. They could not win the 1v1 battles. They could not win the 2v1 battles. They could barely win the 3v1 battles. If you can't aim, if you can't kill someone, which we saw reflected in the score, 15 to 3 in kills, how do you expect to win anything? 
Yeah, and, and that's that, that is, that is battlefield domination in its purest <laughs> form. You can't get the kills, you ain't gonna win. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's pretty much a conquest slash TDM, and uh, that's something dynamics. They do have some killing power up front mm -hmm. with Enozi, but they don't have it in like it, it, they don't have it in truckfuls like some teams do. Dignitas do s sometimes if they're confident enough, they can get the kills. Like um, Masu um, and Judetsky are like the mm -hmm. two prolific killers for Dignitas. But then you just see Nak and Jerk did a brilliant job. He, stepped up. he yeah. stepped up massively, got those one v ones, and when that happened, it was. A, a, full, a triple cap which shouldn't have lasted more than say 30 to 20 seconds lasted a full minute and that is just top level play and I remember on Lane King Dam when uh, Benson and I were casting their match versus Pyrogen he was playing like a defensive role he was sitting on A most of the time and he was actually getting taken down 1v1 for I, I think a majority he had a really bad score like 2 and 12 or something like that towards the end but I like how Dignitas changed up his position you know they changed up in the third map they changed it up here they allowed him to be more of a slayer and like you said, if, he, if he's winning these 1v1s, if he's, if he's on a hot streak like that, why not let him keep doing that? Because it's helping carry, carry your team through to the next stage of the tournament. Yeah, very true. And uh, that, that, that map isn't great for Dig. I, I, but in the other ones against uh, Pyro, they, they were close. Like, so mm -hmm. close every time to just walking away with that one, and especially on Dawnbreaker. All right, now, let's see a little bit of a video on the map. I love these videos. They're so well done um, by Matt, one of our producers. And we get underway here in just a second. And we already saw you, Mav, on this map earlier on against uh, Pyrogen. And you were obviously casting that one. What's your thoughts coming on to this one? Who does this map really favor? And I believe you already said Dinitas, but... I would, I would think so. But at the same time, this could be one... See, I haven't seen both these teams play on this map for a long time. Um, and the last time, the map was a little bit different, spawns-wise. Right. Um, but... Dignitas are, are approaching this quite well. They're going for that A flag early on. They know they probably cannot take that B flag. Um, it's too easily defended. And there's that critical kill. Scene goes down, and this opens up the A flag if Dignitas want to take it. Even if they don't, it forces people away from B. It looks like they are going to be going for this A cat. We're just seeing these one man Jaquili. And as he does spot him out, looking for the kill on him. And if he gets taken down, if, if he dies, which. I believe yeah, he, he got the kill. If, if he almost died right there, if he did die right there, that would have been terrible. That would have given Dignitas that two cap hold. And we've seen when they get those two caps, they strangle it. They, they do not let it go. Yeah, th this is really dangerous for Dignitas. This is what they did not want. If you bring up your tabletop now, you will see from the top to the bottom, you have a line of Dynamics players. And they are going to hold this as long as they can. And Dignitas are going to have to break through or just get destroyed. And right now they're trying to break through, but it's not an easy task. You know, one thing I've noticed though, is I actually, I completely, completely forgot about this fact, is that Dynamics, they use the Ace-52 most of the time. I, I hardly see them with a SCAR. But in that last map in Parasol Storm, we saw Dantas using this SCAR pretty much on a majority of their players. Mm. And that's more of a SCAR map where you can get into, inside those buildings and shoot long range. And I feel like, you know, if Planky Dynamics gets the engages they want in these close personal spaces, they could probably win out these fights and maybe even take this map, because right now they already have A and B, they've already gotten a nice little bit of a ticket lead here, and they're showing no signs of giving up here. You saw Scene just take down, I believe that was Jerk, and they are winning these battles 1v1 every time, and they're forcing Dantos to run to them, and when that happens, it's like, alright, well, our gun shoots quicker, we can yeah. beat you. It, it, this is a serious problem for Dignitas right now. They failed to break out of the, the A and B hold, and uh, from now on, they're suffering. Serious. This is uh, 145 tickets for Dynamics and 100 tickets for Dignitas with no sign of it letting up at all. They're not getting through at B and then failing to break out onto A as well. They need to change up their tactics sometime soon because it's just not working right now. It just blows my mind to think that out of the five tickets, they've only lost five tickets playing Dynamics. The other team, Dignitas, have lost 58. Yeah, that's just ridiculous if you think about it. That's the bleed. That's the bleed. This map is is famous Ooh. for a bleed, and Dignitas get what they wanted eventually. But an overcommitment has left that C flag wide open now. Um, but it j I'm not sure if Dynamics are going to go for it or they're just going to go back. Dignitas here, interesting decision. What do they want to hold? Because they got to stop that Dynamics push, but at the same time they want to also capture A, and it's going to be a one on one down there. But it's all about C right now. Yeah, looks like he should be able to cap us over. There's going to be one man come from behind though, so. We'll see if he can maintain that a little bit longer as he does get some respawns on top of him. But right now, Dignitas going for that tri-cap. They're able to hold on to it for well, just an amount of time, which is better than none. And we do see Planet K Dynamics responding with a cap on a C here. But now, what's next flag to hit? Because B, obviously, like you said before, that's one of the harder ones to hit because you can get set up so damn well. And A, you have so many different directions to hit from. Yeah, and, and, and right now, this is looking really good for Dynamics because they're kind of just spreading Dignitas 
Um, and, and, and Dig have not broke out at any point. They've got no safe place to go, and their cannon has just been bottled into this B flag. And they know if they lose B as well, it's even worse for them. And they've just lost all their attackers outside of B. So right now, it's just Jadetsky by himself on the most critical flag in the map. And, and, and as this is going on, it's just not looking good. And Walu, he went for the entire flank around, going from B towards C in the backside. Looks like he will be able to cap it over, but not before a try. We're playing key dynamics here, but now, where are playing dynamics going to go from this? We have seen pushing into a 1v2. If he can hear them, he does hear them. He's looking for the kills. He's looking for one, but they actually get another spawn on top of him. He gets taken down, and that will be A traded over, but not before a lot of tickets get traded for uh, uh, for Planet Key Dynamics. And even Tom, he's in the vicinity to maybe contest this one, but hopefully he doesn't overcommit. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, fight this one, lose it. Because then Dintos might be able to get something rolling off this. But already 50 tickets remaining for Dintos to the 124 from Planet Key Dynamics. Yeah, I mean, this map is... Uh, Dignitas need to do something to take this lead away from Planet Key. They need to draw this down a lot closer because they know they're going to have a much harder time the next round, uh, next game. And, and right now, Dynamics are just constantly getting the flags. They're doing to Dignitas what Dignitas just did to them. And this is just looking really, really brutal for the Dignitas team. And I've seen a nose actually pick up a scar for himself. And Tom waited very patiently over at A, just sat in the bushes. And eventually, when they did leave, was able to cap that one over. So still 120 to 40 tickets now. This is very one-sided. I believe this actually is uh, Planky Dynamics' map choice here. And we're seeing Sam get taken down. I think she by Judetsky able to win out on that 1v1. But we can look at kills. I mean, it's 39 to 27. It's obviously not that one side for Planky Dynamics. But the thing is, they've been... The kills they do get forces Dintos to just back away. They, they can't commit with just one, two people when they lose someone when Planky Dynamics has a multiple people there. But we actually... Do have B being contested. It looks like Dintos is going to be able to cap that one over. Yeah, but they have no one defending that C flag. It's just wide open. And it, it, this causes them to have to rotate when they really should be defending the B flag. If they can hold this here, this will be huge. But it, it, they're putting so many eggs in one basket. It, it, that's a good. That that's big for Dig. Holding B now, but they need to make sure they keep a C. They need to bring these tickets down. 109 tickets. They've only got 28 to play with, but they have the bleed. So Dig have to go huge right now. They definitely do. And we're seeing a nosy. He's sticking around C here, trying to delay them a little bit. Obviously, you can see Plank Dynamics just slowing it down a little bit. Not in too much of a hurry here. They obviously have quite a few tickets that they can play with, but if they let Dintos get a foothold into this game, they might regret it. But right now, A will be going back over, I believe, to Plank Key Dynamics here in just a second. But while he has something to say about it, and A going to come in, won't connect with anyone. It does not, unfortunately. And actually, well, one eventually does right there, but seen seen in a 1v2 now. It's Wallow and Jerky. It's taken down, and Dintos is going to get that A B hold here. And Spike Dynamics responding with just a C cap. And this is really, I have to say, it's slipping away from Planky Dynamics. Yeah, they're doing a Dignitas, and uh, they're, they're, they're failing to shut out a game that they've been on top of a lot of the time. And right now, Digger just holding that B flag, getting the kills, and they've stepped it up. They, they, they woke up now. Um, I, I guess maybe a bit of complacency the first round, uh, first map, sorry, did very, very well. Uh, kind of maybe thought they were on top of this. Um, but even, even that being said, they're being ultra aggressive when they've got the flags. And it, it's, it's paying off. It definitely is. And you know, we were just talking about the whole, you know, if you send multiple, if you overcommit towards a flag, then you can get back cap. But it seems like they finally figured out the right formula. They didn't send too many men. They're able to hold on to A and B now. But A being contested over for Plank Dynamics, they're going to lock that one down. But C being taken back by Dinitas. So every time Plank Dynamics finally do get a flag, it really gets respotted by, by Dinitas. Yeah, but they've just lost their defender on that B flag. And this is going to cause a hasty rotation for Dig. And they're going to be very much out of position to hold this, I think. It's all about this B flag. Because if Dig can't hold this here, that bleed is going to just push them over the edge, I think. But they're doing well. It's only two on two at that B flag. And them spawns are going to come in very thick and fast. And we just see one man on Plank Dynamics side. Gets taken on, I believe that was Seen. And that is, again, a two-cap hold by Dantos. And they've been at about 15 to 25 tickets for the last, I want to say, two minutes here. And they've taken away pretty much a 100-ticket lead, or at least have taken at least half of it down here. As Jerk looks like he's going to go for a cap on A, go for a tri-cap. And honestly, this was this was not expected. Considering the way Planet Dynamics began this game, they have let their entire lead go. Yeah, the Dignitas are just all over them right now. They're, they're, this, this is brilliant play from them, but they can't get too cocky here. They need to keep working on these tickets. This has just gone from a lost game to a one they can actually win right now, but they are starting to lose that B flag. But there's only one guy left, and it's just going to be outside it. I mean, more spots are coming in, and it's going to be a two-on-two. -two. But Dignitas here have just turned what could have been an absolute lost cause into a, 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 a fighting retreat, really. I mean, they could take away this one. <laughs> You might not ever know actually what would have happened on Gold Mud Railway because, like you're saying, and they were down about 100 tickets. 
they're making it pretty much that even here. It's only now an eight or 14 ticket lead after what was such a one-sided game. And the thing is, if they keep this up, they actually might come out with the first half victory. And they might, if they can carry it over into the second half, come out with a giant ticket lead in that one too. So right now, Dintas stepping up like we haven't seen them do in this map so far. But by Kinetics, what is happening? They had such a huge lead and they just completely lost it. Yeah, but they've got a big chance here to finish off this game. They, they've got enough people around the B flag here and uh, Dignitas are kind of spreading themselves out again. But it, it, if Dig can get the big kills, there you go, B is down, there's no one on it. And it's only gonna be Masu that can do anything here, but he's very much out of position to stop this C push. This is right down to the wire, but Dignitas for a game which was completely looking out of their control. It is once again, once it's so close, eight for 13. I did not expect this, considering how it started off. But right now, I mean, they're giving everything they possibly can. Jerk, the last one in the squad currently. As so you do get those respawns coming in, those are going to be very costly in just a few. But finally, Planet Killer Dynamics is getting that 2-1 to hold back. But with only 13 tickets left, they have to be kicking themselves. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it might be a victory in this round. Uh, but really, they, they had so many tickets. I mean, they have got 13 out of what could have been at one point, almost uh, just under 100. And you can see on their faces, they're, they're happy about that, but they can't be that happy that they had such a huge lead and loss. And yeah, we keep saying it over and over again, but we never typically ever see teams have a 100 ticket lead just to lose it down to 13. And, you know, I was talking with uh, you know, Benson earlier on, Datos has been like the only team that I could think of who can take a difference like that of 100 tickets and bring it back to sub 20. Yeah. They've done it time and time again. For some reason, they just seem to show up. They seem to like really... I don't know, go Super Saiyan. They power up at the last second. But why can't they do it the entire time? That's that's my question to them. Yeah, inconsistency is a, a, a thing that Dignitas kind of struggle with. But when they're under pressure, and then it just flicks on, and then it just explodes. I mean, they did this against... Odie just yelling at them over their shoulder, giving pressure, and then <laughs> bam, undefeated, 150 tickets. Uh, yeah, but they, they did this on Paracel against UMAV, and they were well behind. UMAV looked like they were cruising to an easy victory, and Dig just went crazy and full camped them and just held them at bay. And that was very close from Dignitas winning that round. What could have been easily a, a significant loss. And now Dignitas are going to spawn in the more favorable side. They're going to get the A flag instantly, and more importantly, they're going to get onto the B flag first. And that's where Dignitas fell apart originally. Mm -hmm. They couldn't get on B, and they couldn't get any control on A. The bleed was staying for Planet Key for so long. So from Dignitas' point of view, they might have lost that map, uh, round, sorry, but they didn't lose it by much, and they failed their initial attacks. It's like you're saying, they, they might have lost the battle, but they're looking to win the war. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we get underway here in just a second with the second half of map number two in this best of three. Obviously, obviously after the first map, they toss up 1-0 <laughs> here in this best of three. And remember, loser of this game, well, loser's out. And you obviously don't want to be out. You don't want to be the first team obviously uh, throughout today that has dropped down. But here we go, Dantos over on the Chinese side. Let me see, Planet Dynamics over on the US. And already some early kills coming for Dantos here. Jaquili picking up one. And she does go down here, but the B, look at Dantos, they have fallen. They have died completely. They've only kept A here, and Planet Dynamics have gotten a stronghold in this game. They didn't even, they, they bypassed C. They're like, you know what, we don't care about that. We want to just get B right away, fight them head to head with five when they only have about three or four, win that battle out, go back and cap C again. Yeah, I think that completely caught Dignitas off guard. They, they probably didn't expect, first of all, the push to be that hard, let alone how many turned up. Uh, but right now, Dignitas respond perfectly, capture that C flag. They are going to lose A, but this is all about the rotation onto that uh, B flag. They need to get it quickly before more can spawn in, and it all comes down once again to that B flag. All right, let's go ahead and check in with that. We do have Jaquili getting taken down, though, in a 1v3. I'm sorry, 2v3. And we now have Jerk go down as well. So Planet Dynamics winning the battle over there. Wilder, though, coming in from the backside. He's looking for kills, but he gets taken down before he get any shots off. And they just committed three people to that B flag. It didn't even kill one. Yeah, they need to be really, really careful here. They, they, they could have just overwhelmed the single defender, but they took a lot of time to get in there. And that, that's good, but they, they need to... This is exactly what happened to them in the previous round. They let Planet Key set down a, a, a solid line of defense, and they just kept breaking against it and not breaking through. And right now, Dignitas are, are repeating the mistakes they made in the first game. All right, well, right now, they are currently down about 14 tickets, if I can do math. And they need to... It's just weird. It, inconsistency. You, you hit the, the nail on the head. Inconsistency for Dane Toss. They look so strong at the end of that half, and now they're looking like they did just in the first half, in the beginning. And I just, I don't even know what to say, but Dane Toss, obviously a very strong team, 
can't count them out just yet here. And Planky Dynamics as well. I mean, they're doing fairly well. 13 kills to 14. Obviously pretty much tied up on that one, but they have a nice little bit of a ticket lead here, and not to mention the positioning, but that's getting challenged right now. Yeah, but, but at the same time, Dynamics are just all over them. But they're in the key places. Um, but we're seeing going down, that B flag might switch over to Dignitas quite quickly. And Digger, once again on the attack, they, they take these lulls in the game where the, where the positions aren't set. And look at that, full wipe. No one from Dynamics on the map. They've just spawned in, and Dignitas threatened a full domination cap. And this is how they like to play. And that's an important kill from Marsu coming down on Cena A. This is everything you need from Dignitas' point of view, but they need to keep it up. Definitely do. They cannot let their foot off the pedal on this one. And you do see Masu trying to go for that hold on A. Gets taken down, though. And uh, it's going to hurt him quite a bit. But you can see only two apiece for both teams actually spawned in all on the map. And that A, B hold here. We finally have some sort of give over at A. Currently, for Plant Game Dynamics, able to pick that one up here. But now they're in a 1v2 here with Jerk over towards C. And they're actually going to get the kill onto him as well. So we might have just seen a swap with Plant Game Dynamics now picking up a 2 to 1 hold for themselves. Yeah, two kills at C, though. That's big for Dig. They need to clean this up, though. Seen is the only one left, but he's making a run for it. I think he's going to try and get round to the B flag. It's completely undefended. Dignitas are playing a flag game here, and um, Planicky want a kind of more solid flag based one. And uh, I don't know how this favors, because to be honest, if, if, if Dynamics can impose their will here, then Dignitas are going to suffer hard. Impose their will, and they are definitely trying to right now. We do see B constantly being capped, and this is more. It started off so one-sided, but Dignitas seem to have Planet Dynamics now on the back foot. And if we think what we said earlier on today, the whole thing of if Planet Dynamics play the game that they want, they can walk away with the game very easily. But if Dignitas can get control of it, Planet Dynamics has such a tough time of really fighting back. And both teams are still going head-to-head -head here trying to gain that, that ever-so-important control that you can't even tell who's winning right now because it's pretty much all tied up here in tickets. Yeah, and Dignitas splitting their attention to both C and to B. They fail at B, though, and I think they're going to fail at C as well. Dignitas need to be ultra careful here. They can't just keep doing this. They need to actually come after one of these flags and get it seriously because they're even threatening to be wiped out over at C. It's a one on, it's a two on two still at C. This is a chaotic fight and Dynamics come out the winner. More importantly, Dynamics are also going to take the A flag and Dignitas are stuck in no man's land with no flag to call their own and they're starting to get picked off. And now... Ooh, and OZ coming up for the backside gets one, sees the second one as well. But not able to pick up the kill just yet. Nades coming in. They're going to be able to hold on to B here as it does start to get capped over. But they took control of where Dintas was coming in and they've shut them out almost perfectly with the spawns. Wallow now, the only man as we do see Jaquili spawn in towards C and yet he's a little bit slow to go for that retake here. Even Audi already in position to stop that. They have complete control of this. This tri cap has been lasting for quite a while. Not to mention they have over 32 ticket lead in this second half. Yeah, uh, uh, Dynamics are all in the key spots on the map to keep Dignitas kept on this top left side of the map and Dig on breaking out. They need to either get a spawn behind near A or B, but either way, this is looking really, really bad for Dignitas. Now, that full wow. domination cap is staying. <laughs> that physics as well. <laughs> That's, uh, the head over heels, triple front flip into a McTwist. And right now you see Dignitas, they have Walu sitting over towards C, getting spawns on top of him. It seems like they're trying to feel out where are Planet Key Dynamics on the map right now? Where can we hit, make the hit? And it looks like it's going to be over towards B here as Jaquili. Making the move for it, does have his backup as well. And Planet Key Dynamics, they are in hot pursuit of it. If they could pick up these kills, I want to say they could probably take this game. Yeah, I think right now they're threatening it once again. Ooh. Two kills there from Tom. That's huge. This is scary for Dignitas now. They need to get control of this B flag, and the fight is just dragging on and on. Very true. Remember, if Dignitas drew up below 13 tickets, that threshold, they will have lost out on this second map after a very convincing map one. Seeing it nosy. Yep, taken down right there. And we do see finally Dignitas responding with the cap on a C. So they're going to get this two to one hold back here. But how long will it take Planet Key Dynamics, if any amount of time, to stop this tri cap from coming in? Yeah, more importantly, every time someone dies from Dignitas, this takes them perilously close to the end of this uh, map. And uh, yeah, I, I think if you're Dynamics here, just play smart and uh, don't do anything uh, too stupid because Dignitas here are playing ultra aggressive when they are behind. B. B, B, aggressive. That's all I can think of right now in my head for some reason. And, but you're yeah, right, Dignitas, every time they die, it's currently 54 to 47 in kills. And not to mention, it's pretty much, I feel like Planet Kingdom can play like they're not afraid. Like they have nothing to lose right now because they have so many damn tickets that every kill they pick up, as long as it doesn't get the, uh, the revive, they're getting that one step closer, that one ticket closer. So we're currently now on 15. Remember, three more to go, and that will be Planet Kingdom X picking up a win on Siege of Shanghai and taking it into a map three. Dignitas, they can't even afford to spawn in anymore. And this should be, by all rights, Plant Dynamics taking map number two. Yeah, I don't think there's much they can do at this point. They're just playing for the honor of it. Um, once again, Dignitas... Oh, oh my god, they are. But there you go. There's no way they can respond. Yep. And there they go. But uh, 
I don't know. What, what, what can you say? I mean, they they they, they struggled once again at the start. They, as soon as they got wiped on that B, they had huge trouble to respond. And once again, Dynamic set up that line of defense from A to B, classic Shanghai. And uh, yeah, they could, they had really no answer for it. And once again, they lost by a huge amount of tickets. They had no big comeback this time. Yeah, and I really wonder what that was, you know, really due to. Like you said, you know, that tri cap that came in, it lasted for I want to say thirty to forty five seconds. Like on the mix side, it, it looked about a minute. Almost. Yeah, I, I wanted to say a minute, but I don't want to get too cocky on that one. But it would just it lasted so long that I don't know. Maybe Dantas felt like you know what. We're probably going to lose this map. I, I mean, obviously not the type of team to give up, but you have to be realistic. You know, when that tri cap happens and you just you know get wiped out again, you kind of like, all right, well, let's look to the next map because we're going to be on Goldmud Railway. Yeah, interesting map. Um, I don't even know who that one really favors. Um, I'm very surprised by how Dynamics came out in that game. They did a really, really good job. Dynamics did great when they play uh, positional warfare. They're very good at putting mm. themselves down in the same places. Dignitas, you've just seen them. They like to just go wild all over the place, hit every flag every time, and and, and pray to the 1v1 god and see if you can get <laughs> those kills. Um, and Save it, me, bird Jesus. It worked for, for, for Dig for quite a while, but then Dynamics slowed the game down. Got that B, and as soon as they got B, they just seemed to control the matchup. And I'm, I'm really trying to think, you know, with Goldmud Railway coming up, we've seen, obviously, Planet Dynamics earlier on play against, uh, it was uh, UMAV, and they actually won on Goldmud Railway. 84 tickets. Can they do it again? Actually, sorry, that was on Operation Locker. That was mixed up. Sorry, that was UMAV that won with 49 tickets, but they didn't look bad at all on Goldmud Railway. They were able to really pick up quite a few tickets, but now, Dintas, again, a whole other beast, completely, I don't want to say completely different, but not similar play styles at all compared to UMAV. Can they, you know, really match up for this one? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. It's a, it's a map that can decide, it, depending if you want to play it, by just blowing the buildings up. And loads of teams I always love that. that. Yeah, I I, love that's that. one-man levolution there. <laughs> um, but then some teams just enjoy, like, just just running the flags. And I, I kind of think Dignitas are probably going to be one of those teams. All right, well, we will find out in just a bit. When we come back, we will have that final match to see who advances on and who gets knocked out. In the meantime, we're going to head over to Red Eye and Benson. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, just give the casters a little room to breathe before we get back into map number three. Ben's back with me. 1-1. One, yes. one. Not perhaps what we thought it would be after the first map. Paracel Storm, Dignitas, said to me, actually, before they went out, they, they were going to pick Paracel Storm. And I couldn't say that in the preview because otherwise they'd know yeah. what to veto. <laughs> but they told me they were going to pick Paracel and okay. they, they felt that that was probably one of their strongest maps. They've proved that, no problem at all. But then we've moved on. And on Shanghai, PKD were ruthless. Different story. Completely different story. But we kind of got it right in a way because we said it was going to be close. It, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was never going to yeah. be a 2-0 shutout, that's for sure. Both these two teams can't afford to lose at this point. It, it's win or go home, as you so rightfully said earlier on. So, you know, going into the third map. Goldman Railway. Oh, it's I'm, all about the buildings now. It's all about those buildings. Yeah. Expecting to see them taken out as quickly as possible. And, you know, that vantage point as well. There's a C, C point vantage point. You see so many teams just immediately get there and you can just scout out what the opposition is doing and for the first minute that can be massive advantage that you can gain from that so who knows I, I'm still sticking with my guns though so a little bit of interesting information you might you might like this I was chatting to Wahlberg in the break okay. uh, whilst they were having some lunch uh, <laughs> and they were trying to rethink about how they were going to come back and, and sort this lower bracket thing out he is the master tactician <laughs> in that team seriously he spent four hours on Goldman Railway figuring out where the spawns were Dedication. That's all he did, right? And then he realized that actually it was 50-50 on where they spawned anyway. That's got so, he's, so he's four hours is kind of wasted. But it just shows you the kind of dedication <laughs> that separates me and Ben from running around like morons on a server and these professional players. It's that extra 5%, right? Yeah, that's what it takes to, to win at the top level. And if he's willing to put that much effort in, imagine the stuff he knows about all the other maps. If he's done that and then it's figured scary. out it's 50-50. Seriously, he, I'm going to start calling him the professor. That's, <laughs> that's his good. new, nick, that's his that's new nickname from now on. Okay. Uh, he's not Wahlberg anymore. Or he's Dignitas the Professor. Uh, we are going to go back to our commentators in just a moment. Don't forget, of course, to keep checking in uh, on our Facebook page for any of the people that want to do artistic talent. Also, if you want to join in with the artistic talent and, I don't know, paint Ben's face into a Battlefield 4 model, feel free to do so. You might even win a prize. You can do so by uh, adding that on Twitter and using the hashtag hash ESL1. It might even feature on the program if it's good as well. We're about to get back into map number three. Who's coming through? Who's going home? Time to find out. Take it away, guys. Thank you for that, Red Eye and Benson. And Goldmud Railway. Buildings 
I, I want to see some flat pancakes made out of those because it's always fun to see them crash and not to mention if you forget you can die while you're in them while they go down. It's funny to see. It so, might have happened to me before. So many teammates die in flags, <laughs> in the buildings as they come down, even on the sides sometimes. I've seen an epic moment where someone was on the, just on the staircase getting the counter knife as the building's like collapsing around <laughs> no. them. Everyone dies. It's one of those dies. slow motion things where you're just watching. You can't do anything about it, but... Obviously, we're going to be on Goma Railway here, and this will be the final map here. I've seen, I've seen to have the, the luck of always getting best of threes because every map I've done so or every game I've done so far have been all three mappers. Yeah, Tignitas just enjoy taking games to a third. <laughs> it seems to be their thing. Um, and, and it's been surprising because when it has happened, they've been quite like one side and then one game will swing the other way. Yeah. It's, it's just very interesting. Um, I, I, I must admit, I'm, I'm, I was very surprised how Dignitas um, handled on Shanghai. I, I assumed they would do a bit better, but they... Considering they beat Planet Dynamics on it before as well. Yeah. Which Ooh, is a little I, interesting. I don't know. I felt like, even though they were so far behind in tickets at one point, mm. that momentum they built up, they just took... I thought it would carry over. Yeah, I, I thought they were going to win. I thought they could do it, but then they repeated they like the same wrong. <laughs> Yeah. They, like, what, you thought we were going to win this one? Nah. nah just we're going to mess this one up. But obviously, they have their final chance here. Remember, loser of this map right now will be out the entire tournament. Winner will go on to play tomorrow against Pyrogen to see who will maintain their spots in advance into the semifinals or who will be going home and getting drunk at Carnival. Remember, kids, drink responsibly. But either way, we're getting underway in just a few with the uh, with Gold Mud Railway. We're going to have Dintas over on the Chinese side, Plant Kinetics over on the Russian side, and I want to put you on the spot. Give, give me a score. Score line for this half. Score line, I, I think maybe Pyro edge this one out, and uh, I think Dignitas will then slightly beat it the next round. <laughs> can, can you give some numbers? I'm not doing numbers, no. <laughs> not playing the like numbers 20, game. 30, 20, 30. 20, 30, right. okay. Well, let's see. Which team will pull through on this one? I still love those damn videos. They're so smooth. <laughs> and we're getting underway here. Countdown, 10 seconds remaining. And Dantas and Plant Kinetics both fighting for the chance, fighting for their tournament lives here. Not to mention for the prizes. And right now, I mean, we saw the votes. Yeah. It was very one-sided in Dantas' favor. And Planet Dynamics are fighting an upward battle. We actually do see Jaquila and Jadetsky die off the beginning. I have no idea what just happened. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for you to explain to me because this, this is strategical somehow. <laughs> is it? I, I, what? There was an explosion and either way it hit Dignitas. There's a, there's a, 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 a roadside bomb that's nearby the area. I don't know if that got triggered or not. But that was interesting. Yeah, uh, Dignitas either way, um, it looks like they're probably going to threaten that C flag early on. So uh, I thought maybe it was like the whole, like, all right, we're going to let people, we're going to kill two people off the bat, and then we're going to spawn in where we need it. That's what I was thinking, but I don't know. That was, that was yeah, a little bit I, weird. I, I'm thrown. I'm thrown. I'm thrown. I, I want to say that's what happened, given the benefit of the doubt that they didn't kind of just suicide on accident and mess things up. But right now, you see Jaquili looking for an easy kill, picks that one up, and we do see a nice AC hold here for Dignitas currently. And B, usually you don't see an AC hold, and you can easily explain to us why. It's, it's, uh, the C flag especially spawns are very much constant on top of it, so it's a very, very difficult one to hold. And that's why, for Dignitas' point of view, they want A, B, and they want it as quick as possible. But Dignitas are threatening full, uh, a triple cap here. They're playing a very forward game with the buildings here, and uh, it, it's only really Tom able to do anything about it. And you can see what uh, Warburg's trying to come in there. And I don't know, it's a very interesting and dangerous game from Dignitas' point of view, because obviously the spawn just came below A, and that's going to be dangerous for them. A little bit of a whiff right there out of Wallow, unfortunately. Well, he's going to get taken out either way, but right now, Plank Kinetics fight fighting back. They get an AC hold themselves. Sorry, no, they don't. Yes, they do. Sorry. My bad. I'm Why am I doubting myself? I am crazy. But they do get an AC hold for themselves. Obviously not the most ideal ones, but you will take it whenever you can possibly get a two-cap hold. And the ticket's pretty much dead even here. The early kills, let's take a look at the scores. 11 to 13 in favor of Toss right now. And no real man stepping, or at least... Uh, making ways for his team. Everyone pretty much doing fairly well for themselves. Yeah, and the, the, this is looking really good for um, for Dynamics. Uh, just flowing about the map really well and, and keeping people in areas that really cause issues. So uh, he knows he here making himself a massive nuisance at A, and this might bleed a bigger response from Dig, but it deserves. Mm -hmm. and, and and this is going on, and B's being attacked as well. This is looking really, really good for Dynamics. And we've already seen in the map just prior, and Sita Shanghai, as a body falls off. <laughs> 
<laughs> the roof, sorry. It was really funny because it slid down. But we already saw that they can force it to us to make these overcommitments into, you know, rotating towards a flag. You know, you just have one person there, but they pull two or three to help out. And right now you can see a three flag cap hold for Planet Key Dynamics already. Have built up a little bit of a lead, about, yeah, about 10 right now. And just as fast as they had that tri cap, they lose it. And actually might have just lost the lead overall. Yeah, but the bleed is staying for uh, Dynamics, and more importantly, the building control. The buildings at A, Dignitas are not having much tro uh, luck with. As I say that, every defender on the flag goes down, but in <laughs> Constellation, Dynamics are going to pick up B without anyone really there to stop it. Jesse's going to get there, and so is Jerk, but the flag's already been captured. Yeah, very true. And we do have a nice crossfire already set up as well. You see one man over towards the streets, one more towards the backside looking towards the building. And they are able to hold this one down. I think the guy towards the street is going to go down here in a second as the man off to the side going to look for a 1v1. Gets a kill on a jerk and also gets a respawn. So they're going to get control of B here. I want to say in just a second or at least maintain it. They still see them going head to head off in this fight. They do get the kills. They are going to get control of B here. And I hate to say it, Dane Toss, they're not looking like the Dane Toss we just saw in that uh, first half of Siege of Shanghai. Yeah, I'm not even sure exactly where they're going wrong. It's just Dynamics are making such a nuisance with themselves and not being easy kills. They're, they're, they're being very elusive, and that's really, really difficult for Dignitas because they want to play a kind of fast game here. And Dynamics, you can just see Tom at the bottom of the map here, just playing, getting into the cap zone, getting taken out, but <laughs> giving enough time that uh, other flags can be threatened. But at the same time, scene gets taken out and B, and this is what Dig need, A, B hold with buildings. And not to mention, even though they've been on the, the climbing side of this mountain, they still aren't that far down in tickets. It's only about a seven ticket lead right now for Planet Key Dynamics. And I, I you call 30 20 or 20 30. It's looking like a really likely possibility right now. This is looking like to be a nail biter between these two teams, a real crack of a match. I love saying that, you know, I'm not British. But Planet <laughs> Dynamics, they're still fighting back. They're looking to control B here. And I think on the back of Felix that they're going to be able to pull some off if he can pick up this one kill that he needs. Yeah, Dignitas aren't threatening the C flag very much. I mean, they're going to go for it now, but while this has been going on, that fight at B has dragged on and on and on. And at any point, Dig could have threatened that C, and they've only just gone for it now, and it's got a defender, so it's nowhere near as valuable as it could have been. But uh, yeah, this game is coming right down to the wire right now, and both of them peak, and Dignitas get the kill eventually, but it, they're into spawn. He knows it, and then two more. This is just the, those spawns right on top of C just saved that flag for uh, Dynamics. Not to mention they have three more over towards B, and you're seeing the building control for Dantos is starting to step up a little bit. They keep hitting a lot of people over towards these buildings. One towards that staircase, one on top of that roof right there, and one over at the flag. And that one at the flag has the has the backup from his team from this height advantage, and you've seen it reflected in the ability to pick up these kills. They're going to be able to lock down the control of B. Even a man flying around the corner right there with the parachute. And they're going to maintain that 2-1 to one cap. However, they might even get a trip cap here because they still have one man over towards C currently. Yeah, he Batman down on him and just took him out. And look, just looking at the map right now, um, well, what's left of the middle at least, Dignitas threatening a, uh, a trip cap here. And they might be able to just hold Dynamics into this C flag. Look, those rockets come in there. Wow, destruction all over that C flag. It's beautiful. And <laughs> they're getting a lot of kills for it as well. Destruction is beautiful. And you're seeing them... Well, I've seen Planet Dynamics fight back, but think of how many resources they just committed over towards that C flag just to take it, just to grab it back. And while they're doing that, while they commit that many men, Dantos is like, all right, well, we'll get set up entirely across the entire map in positions that we want to be in. And when you try to enter A, you try to enter B, we're going to pick up these kills, and that's exactly what they're doing. Yeah, they're, they're struggling to finish it off, though, and, but they are getting the important ones. And more importantly, you saw in the game, but, but there's a big spawn by Enozi and Outsider, and they're right on top of that A. But Dignitas are in position to threaten C anyway, and that's the pr correct response. As soon as you know that they're overcommitting to a flag, you just drop down. But he's taken out by Seen, uh, but then in response, Dignitas clean up. So even though they have lost that A flag, they are going to pick up C. No, they're not. Kill came in from where? Outsider from across the map getting the kill. And Dignitas now looking in a very awkward position. They know B's about to be attacked by an overwhelming force, but they've got no one to spare for C. They do not. And we're seeing Jakku have a nice position up towards this uh, building. Picks up one, picks up two. The building getting shattered across the board right now. And Jakku is chasing down the one man that is inside of this building. And right now, he's been definitely stepping up for his team, but 60 to 47 is the ticket advantage and currently in favor of Dinitas. 
We can take a look at the kills really quickly. 13-12 for Jadetsky, 17-6 for Jaquili. And he's the man that's typically very quiet, Jaquili, in my eyes. But he's been doing fantastic on this map. This seems to be one of his uh, one of his better ones. Yeah, he's been in a lot of solid positions that have given him a lot of chances to pick up those kills, building control uh, more than anything. But Dignitas spreading themselves quite thin here, attacking from multiple places and just trying to get as many flags as possible. The problem is Dynamics are in great positions to harass. And if Dig don't get the kills here, they are going to get a trip cap against them. And the spawns from Dynamic are picture perfect and they are all over them. And that's a wipe on every push. And there's a triple cap. I see what the last man standing. She's not going to get respawns on top. And we see respawns come in towards C. And there's actually one man there to defend against it. And Nosy, he's obviously not in the right position perfectly. I want to actually tune in with Audi to see if he can pick up at least one of these three kills. Actually, it's taken out from the backside for a man that's going towards B. So they're going to lose control of C here. But look at the Tiri to 31. A very close game between these two teams, especially with what's on the line right now. As you see, Nozzi look for the kill here. And actually, taken down himself. So Dignitas fighting back with style right now as the DC Planet Killer Next pushing onto this B flag finally. Yeah, and, and, and it all comes down to the. Dignitas are threatening a full down cap, and they just wiped out Dynamic. There's no one left except for him at the top corner of the map. This is Dignitas' chances to close out this round. They are behind in tickets. They're not going to be able to hold the C flag, I think, unless Wahlberg goes huge on this defense. But right now, Dignitas are in a very, very good position, and they must know it. They definitely do, and see, it's being contested here a little bit, but they're able to take the lead back here in just a second. 63 to 55 in kills, still very close in terms of that. Let's see, finally does go back at Fairy Plant Key Dynamics, but at what cost? We just see four men go down here. The last man is Audi over towards the uh, east side of the map, and he's already taken down as well. That's going to be a full squad wipe, and not to mention, with those five people respawning back in, that's a lot of tickets to lose. That's going to be a tri cap back in favor of Dignitas, and this is going to be most certainly here a first half win for them. Well, it, it looks like it, but Dignitas need to be very careful here. They're playing a very aggressive game here. They're trying to hold all the flags, and if you try and hold everything, you can lose everything, but they're getting the kills here. This is brilliant play. It's only Tom by himself, but the spawns are coming in on him, and they eventually will get that flag, but at what cost? Masu's like, oops, fell down top of him, didn't have the ammo to do it, but while they're going to hit the kill right there, and with four tickets remaining, Pankinonix cannot even afford to respawn anymore, and this will be Dinitas, who for the majority of the game were behind, pulling back the victory in the first half. Going to have about 26 tickets to work with here, if they can do just get this one extra kill or one extra flag cap. And a fantastic turnaround here, but it's still anyone's game. It really is. This is not that big of a lead here on Gold Motor Railway. Yeah, scene going down there over at A, so that is going to be it. But wow, yeah. Um, how many tickets uh, beforehand did I save? I thought this round were going to go. Do you want, do you want no, to guess? You don't want to strike your E-Pin here. I already struck enough for you. 22. You said 20 to 30. Uh. Two, two off. Two off. Well, let's see, let's see how this half goes. Watch Plant can next win with like 172 tickets. Somehow they gain 22 out of nowhere. Secret, just, secret on the map. Just a, a command you can put in. And just <laughs> but like, look at Dintas on the screen, though. That yeah. doesn't seem very like happy, cheerful, or anything. Yeah, I think they, they know they could have... I, first of all, I want to know what the hell happened at the beginning when two guys just blew up. Um... They know what they, they they haven't won yet. Twenty two tickets is, is is nothing. We've already seen plenty of teams come back from less and Dignitas more than any of them have done that. So uh they are well aware that dynamics can come back here. All right, well we get underway here. We'll let that second happen just a second. And are you still are you still with that twenty thirty score score line right now? Yeah, un unless someone's morale just totally breaks. And that can happen. And and, and what you see near the end of that game is kind of like that. Dignitas play a very rough and ready style. They hit as many flags as they can. Some teams, as soon as that breaks and they get mm -hmm. a triple cap against them, everyone just seems to just kind of sit back. They stop talking to each other. And, and, and that trip cap stayed and stayed and stayed. And Dig were just hunting them down. And it's an aggressive <laughs> thing and it works good sometimes. I wish you could see his hand motions when he said hunting them down. <laughs> How about when, um, I'm, in, uh, when I'm, I'm sitting here, you, you're see, this away, is, and I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering what some of that was. I was like, oh, something's happening. And actually, it reminds me, because we casted uh, Cup 3 together, couldn't actually see you. I was really curious what you were doing at home, or if you had your legs <laughs> up, or if you had any pants on or anything like that. Pants in the American sense, not, not the uh, British sense. Mm. But here we go. 20 seconds left on the countdown. We're going to have on the Russian side, Dantos, over on the Chinese side, Planet Key Dynamics. And currently, Planet Key Dynamics down 22 tickets in this half, tied up all one-to-one -one in maps. And this is the last half to determine what team's out. Which ones will be the first one to drop here in this tournament? All right, so we should be getting into game here in just a second. And what do you expect out of Dignitas? What do you expect out of Planet Dynamics to go right off the bat? 
Um, there, there will be a push from Dig to just get that B flag and get the building control, and they'll, they'll leave to it. See, that's pretty standard opening for them. Tom is the only guy really anywhere else, and I think from Dynamics they want those spawns. And now I think about it, I think I know exactly why Dignitas died at the beginning. They want the spawns to be elsewhere than where they were. And I think that's a very interesting strat there. And Dig are going straight out for a full domination cap. This is very risky play. Uh, looks like they're going to be able to pull it off. If Jurek can just cap this over, it looks like he will barely. No, he doesn't get the actual cap, but he looks like he will finally pull it off. And we're going to see that tri cap come in in the first 40 seconds of the game. Remember, 22 is going to be that ticket threshold. Jerk, can he hold on to A? It's going to be a 1v1 here. And he's going to pick up the kill as well. So he stops the push and they maintain this hold. That is brilliant play, and at the same time, um, Masu surrounded on all sides. There's a man capturing the flag, there's two guys coming up behind him, and just doing a best job. He trades, but that's as good as you're going to get at this point. But Dignitas looking really solid, but that C flag is so vulnerable to spawns, and there's nothing they're going to be able to do with this, so they need to consolidate on B very quick. Yeah, if they do, and you see Walu trying to make that happen. Nades coming into that building. Not going to connect with anyone, unfortunately, but you see C being capped over here. Walu does get taken down, and we are going to have... Well, Dignitas actually hold on to C. They have enough men there to defend against it, but Audi trying to fight for his life here, trying to fight for the survival of Planet Kid Dynamics. Looks like he will get taken down, though, and that will be Dignitas recapping C, but at what Look at cost? that spawner A from Tom right yeah. on top of the flag. Doesn't get much better than that. No, not at all. It's literally a flag cap on spawn. That's like the lazy man spawn. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to wait till there's an actual spawn out of flags. So I have to run. No, this isn't any Daisy. This isn't a, a running simulator. But right now... Oh, Didn't see? help at all though, he goes down straight away and that, <laughs> that bleed's staying for Dig and that's getting a problem now. 135 to 114 with 22 from the previous round. Dig are looking pretty good right now. They definitely are here in Plank Dynamics. Can't cut them out just yet, but they are looking like they are slowly giving up at this point. They're losing control of B here at the same time. They've already been tri cap once here within the first 40 seconds of the game. And Dignitas, they're, they're not taking their foot off the pedal. But the thing is, We've seen before already, just in maps prior, that even they can they could have like a, an 80 ticket lead. But for some reason at the end, the other team makes that last stand and they have such a tough time closing it out. Yeah, Dig notoriously had really hard times finishing off games. But right now, Masu is just getting kills. Seven for two right now. Just doing an absolutely brilliant job running that Scar H. Um, I've I seen uh, Judetsky actually. Um, I don't know if he's still running it. He is AEK. I mean, that's a, a rarity these days. Uh, not as common as it used to be, let alone on this map. Um, this seems to be chance for Dynamics to come back. Look at that spawn. Jerk and Wahlberg right on top of the B flag. Big spawn for them, but it doesn't seem to be doing them any help as they're, they're getting picked away one at a time. And there was a trade at B. Favors only Dynamics as they have people to get the revive. Huh. I'm watching a Nosey here, and they, they realize they killed four, but it took them a good amount of time before he actually went for that C cap. I don't know if that was hesitation or if that was strategy, but if it's hesitation, you can't afford to have that right now with what's at stake here. And right now they haven't even capped C over, B being turned over to Plant Kid Dynamics, it looks like in just a second, or will be maintained. And we're actually gonna see potentially a tri cap come out of Plant Kid Dynamics here to take a little bit of the tickets back in their favor. Yeah, and Dignitas need to move quick here. Get on that B and threaten that A. They need to make sure that they... But there's a kill on C, and that's what Masu needed uh, with the help of Wahlberg. And now Dignitas are in a very good position here. There's only out outside and left in the middle of the map, right on top, and he gets taken out. Dignitas now uh, reversing the role, and now they're the ones threatening a triple cap. And we see the spawns coming in from the backside of C. Looks like they will be able to cap that one back. There's going to be one man here. Let's go and tune in with him. And who is this going to be? Is he going to pick up any kills? And it looks like he's going to pick up one here. And that distraction he's running is he gets a second. That alone might have just maintained this 2 to 1 cap and potentially put pressure on Plank Dynamics to rush for something else and give Masu the opportunity to take. He picks up even another one right now. He's 12 and 4, looking for even more off of this. And they are just sh shredding Planet Key Dynamics apart. Yeah, and that opened up that C flag completely. They know that the pressure's over at A, and Giggly just needs to keep them busy at A flag now. But look at that spawn from Dynamics right on top of the C flag, and what Masu got loads of kills for might just be taken away by a spawn. And Giggly gets the kills at A. This is huge for Dignitas. And they got the kills at C. Dig, what is it with Dig? It's a Dig train. They just get these kills and it just keeps going. And this is just really, really great play from Rem right now. And Dynamics are starting to fall into that trap of just coming apart. They are definitely maintaining this tri cap yet again here. And remember, 22 is that threshold. And right now, Planet Kid Dynamics are falling closer and closer to that point. 53 tickets left here. And I have to say it again, I've said it many times, the loser of this game is out. And you've been fighting for this for over a month within the Cups, within the Go For series, within the group stages, and to go out here 
pretty much in the first round to be the first team out is not what, not the result that you want. But right now, Danitas, they're fighting for everything they possibly have here. Jerk can be coming in the backside looking for some sort of push. And he picks up one kill. Will he get the second? He knows someone's there as he does. He got for the, uh, the spray. Picks them up. And that will be A going back over to Danitas here. In the meantime, B not are not picked up for them just yet. It's Punk A to fight back just a little bit. Able to get control of B. Able to get control of A, I believe, off of that too. I don't know, I should go to Toss's favor, but 40 tickets remaining now. They are getting too close. This is way too close for comfort for them. Yeah, at, at no point does Dignitas give us casters a chance. They're just keeping the action going at all places at once. And, and it's stretching Dynamics all over the place. This AB hold, you can just see Dynamics in the way they're attacking right now. They're coming out with everyone. They're not leaving anyone behind, but this plays straight into Dignitas's hands because they can just walk onto that C flag right now. And there's only Tom by himself. He's the lone man at B, and he's surrounded by Dignitas. And right Right now, Dick is just taking flags at will. Oh my god, that is a complete wipe. 57 to 27 kills. Wow. That, that is almost definitely it. We do see A kept over. Actually, A being taken for Plant Dynamics here, but PKD, they could not die. 26 tickets, 22 is that threshold. They've and stopped. There's nothing they can do. They know it's oh. over. They, they have been completely and utterly outplayed when it was close. The first one was, first round was close, and then Dignitas just smashed them. And that is the end of this story. Planet Kinetics going to be going home. Dinning Toss not able to go out drinking yet for Carnival. They have advanced into the next round of these groups, but they will be playing tomorrow against Pyrogen to determine who is the second team advancing onto the semifinals. And that means we will be making our way over to Group B here. But Dinning Toss, we've got to talk about how well they played. They struggled in mat number two on Siege of Shanghai, but in mat number one on Parasol Storm, 72 tickets. They came into uh, Siege of Shanghai after that first half after being down, I want to say 100 tickets to take it to only 13 and then just completely whitewash Planet Dynamics on Goldmund Railway. It's well played by them and that, that obviously gives me a lot of hopes for them to advance on in the semis seeing that. It, it, it's weird. Dignitas would like switch on and off, but at the same time Dynamics, when Dynamics played their game, positional yeah. warfare, they were excellent. They tore Dignitas completely <laughs> apart on Shanghai. It was painful to watch for me. And they were an absolutely brilliant team. And it, it's a shame that they have to go home, but they have improved so much yes. in the EMS. I mean, they came from easily one of the lower teams, and now look at them challenging, and they did so damn well. I believe they were ranked ninth, if I'm not mistaken. Just gonna double check on that. Yeah, they were ranked ninth, and remember, we have to talk about their, their path here. Cup number one, quarterfinals, lost to Denny Toss. Cup two, quarterfinals, lost to Denny Toss. Cup three, round of 16, lost to Exaquio. Cup four, round of 16, lost to Exaquio. But in group D, they finished first, beating Epsilon, and Gamers Connection, two of the core teams um, within the EMS1 series. I mean, honestly, fantastic job to come back this far here, but fortunately for them, they didn't have that little bit of extra oomph that they needed to get into the semifinals. Yeah, Dynamics had been on a roll for quite a while. They'd won, mm -hmm. I think it was two to three go fours in a row. They had been looking really, really good, and they've improved so much from what they were. They, they've got LAN experience. They've got yeah. all the little bits they need. It's just... A few more pieces of the puzzle, and yeah. they'll be a complete team. I mean, uh, let alone in the Dane Toss uh, Battle Forward Invitational that you, get, you did, actually, I believe it was last week, if I'm not mistaken. They lost in the quarterfinals to Yuma, but they beat Epsilon in the lower bracket. Yeah. Like, how many teams can say they can beat Epsilon? And they've done it multiple times now. Now, beating Epsilon online as well. <laughs> I mean, it, it's oh, not always as easy. Was Mayak playing? I don't think he's been but playing. Uh, nah, yeah, see? They, they took some <laughs> advice, and they drop them out sometimes. All right, well, congratulations again at Dane Toss to advancing into the next round. They still have one more game, though. Pyrogen, their opponents, to see who gets into the semifinals to join UMAP. But for the meantime, we're going to head over to Red Eye, who has an interview with a winner and a loser. Not quite a winner or a loser, in fact, neither. But that's okay, Jason, don't worry about it. We're actually going to do some social media now at the end of that match. Unfortunately, our German friends are the first one to be eliminated from Group A. Group B begins very shortly with Fnatic versus Epsilon. We're also going to catch up with Julian from DICE in a few minutes' time. But first, let's just check in with our competition, because you guys have been busy with your artistic skills and lack thereof, it has to be said. And we have a bit of a rogues gallery right now. It's the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're going to start off with the bad. Let's show you this one. Uh, now, this is great. This is actually fantastic artwork. Really, really heavily designed. Phenomenal paintwork on that. But it's also not yours. Okay? So the person that sent this in feel very bad because that's not your original work. We have ways and means of finding out. Uh, and you make dice cats cry if you use their stuff, okay? Uh, we also have the ugly, which looks something like this. 
Such keyboards, many give away gift keyboard please. No, I'm being I'm being cruel, but it's a reasonable effort. I think they call that the red eye Lisa. Okay. I colour me not impressed. Uh, but we do have one that's that's currently leading the way, um, which is this effort. I think it speaks for itself. Obvious screenshot grab from any game I've ever played where I'm shooting at many men on the beach and they're all running away from me. And I'm thinking, ha, ah, I have them scared. Only to turn around and face a giant ship about to impale me on the beach. So we like that one a lot. Keep them coming uh, via Twitter using the hashtag hash ESL1. Uh, talking of madness, by the way, here's some more motorbike madness. <laughs> 